My art is about time. I think that's the most common theme throughout my work over the years, uh, is a kind of impermanence, um, where as the, the incompleteness of the work or sort of the, the ongoing aspect of it creates a, a timeline with each piece, where there's sort of a past and a future of the sculpture. Um, it's, it ends up being very narrative. My name is Robert Michael Jones. I'm a, a sculptor. I've been sculpting for seven years. And we're here at Space for Art where I have my studio in San Diego. I could not imagine not doing art. My parents were very encouraging of it. My dad uh, was a builder and so he always had tools and was making things uh, with his hands, like a very handy guy. So I think from a, from a very early age, creative problem solving for me was was done in materials in three dimensions. I try to, in my work, come to a, a balance uh, between sort of what I can force the material to do and how it would exist naturally or sort of how it wants to. I started off doing a lot of bronze casting, which I think is a very special process. Recently, metal in general has been the material that I find I have the most affinity towards. Um, it really offers a lot of resistance. You have to apply a considerable amount of force uh, to shape the metal and then uh, because of the properties of the metal it really it holds all, every force, every uh, hit or bend that you put into it, it holds it perfectly and kind of creates a, a map of all the work and all the energy that you put into it which I really love. My new work is different. My work's always evolving. The most consistent thing in the work is kind of how my approach to it, my kind of mental patterns of, of thinking about things and even that changes over time. I write down ideas as they come to me, as I'm listening to things or, or just as I'm working. In, uh, once the idea makes it into the sketchbook, certain ideas get weeded out, others get fleshed out, um, do some sketches, and then after that I just I jump right into full size, no models or, or mock-ups or anything. Uh, I like to make my mistakes on the, pe on the final piece um, and kind of work through those mistakes. I think it just adds to the, to the character of it. The figure plays a crucial role in my work. Um, I don't always use the figure, but it is one of my most common uh, forms that I use. And I think that, I think that for creating uh, sculptural movement and gestural kind of dynamism in a sculpture, I don't think there's a, a necessarily a better form than the human figure. And then on top of that, it's a form that as a viewer we immediately connect with. You immediately have a relationship to it, whether it's imposing or you feel you see yourself in it or you, know, you feel sympathetic towards it. There's immediately a connection there, which I think is super important, especially when trying to pursue these kind of narratives. I think that my work asks a lot more questions than it answers. I don't necessarily have a, a real commentary for society. I think I more just point to questions that I think are important um, and kind of say, look over there. Uh, maybe, we should, maybe we should look at that or, or that's an interesting relationship. If painting is sort of like an orchestra composer, my sculpture is more like a whole body dance that I do with power tools. Currently I have an exhibit up at the San Diego Botanic Gardens. Uh, I have a group show at the DeBilzen Gallery in Laguna Beach. Um, I have just installed work um, at NTC Liberty Station uh, in Point Loma, San Diego, um, just outside the Stone Brewery at Barracks 14. And uh, recently, um, last year, I completed my first large public commission, uh, which is for the yards in Washington, D.C. It's a, a build site next to the uh, Washington Navy Yards, and it was a, a historical project um, that I was commissioned to do for them, a series of, of large outdoor per permanent sculptures.